Call of Duty Black Ops 2's farm. This is a map that I feel like, regardless of how long you've been playing zombies, you know about. Which is kind of crazy, because for it being one of the smallest maps, and simplest, and like really having nothing to it, it is, in what I think at least, one of the most well-known ones. It's super small, but it's got its... I'd call it a challenge map. Because, and to me, any challenge map is pretty much just one that doesn't have a pack punch. So, like, I'd consider, like, this Home, home Depot. <laughs> Bus Depot. Uh, town, kind of. Uh, just because the size, but, like, it does have a pack punch, which I think makes a bigger impact than most people, like, really recognize. But this one is definitely one of my favorites. Uh, another one of those ones where if I want a quick game... It's like the World at War maps, I just jump in to do this. So we're going to do a couple pros, a couple cons, and uh, yeah. For pros, I mean it really sets you up with everything you need, and plus it has the MP5 as a wall weapon, which is, I don't know, that's crazy to me for some reason. Uh, and it's got enough space to train, granted with that car right there, uh, off to the side, it can make it a little tough where it's not like perfect but it's easy enough to do but you can also get yourself cornered super fast another pro is there's only one box location so unlike town the box is not going to move i think between this clip and the final one i spent an insane amount of money trying to get the ray gun or the ray gun mark ii Another pro is something I come across here in a second and show is the galvan, excuse me, the galvan knuckles on the wall. I think those are super neat addition to Black Ops 2, like right here. Uh, yep. And they're one hit melee weapon till round 16, and they they are six grand though. So like by the time you get them, in, it usually is a little later. Uh, and I did end up getting the ray gun. And like pros, it's simple enough to get all your perks back because the map's small enough with enough open space. If you do go down, that you can re-retrieve them. Uh, like I'm sure you've seen this probably the third time in this video. I was playing on original, and in the first clip, uh, I had magic off. I think no, I did something different. I don't know, but it's yeah. There's really not a ton of pros or cons because it is such a small map. Which is weird for me to say because it is one of my favorites, and it always has been. Uh, as far as Black Ops 2 goes, it's my third favorite. With the other two being Mob of the Dead and Origins. I used to like Nuketown a lot, and I think it's okay, but it just for some reason doesn't hit the same way it used to. But for cons, uh, I think it's weird. Because one of the cons that I think it has is also one of the pros is the ability to train now where it is that semi is like the perfect training tool to where they can't just cut their own train in half uh, there is other things on the side of it like with the barn being right there and quick revive and that other car it can make training a little difficult um, I can't really think of any other cons you can see the game like melting right there <laughs> But yeah, you know, I think I would give this map a solid 8 out of 10. I think if you're looking for something quick uh, and a little bit of a challenge, this is a decent map. It's not insanely hard, like it's not like Roasting House or anything, where it's like unbelievably close quarters. And you don't just have to train there, like you could take them around the whole map, uh, there's access to it. But yeah, and I did have, there's another thing right there, I totally forgot. The Hellhounds are almost necessary for this, just for the max ammos, because, you know, unless you want to run and grab the box every round, but then get stuck with, like, the SMR, which is why I got down the first time. Uh, but yeah, other than that, it's a super solid map. Uh, always one that I make sure to play if I'm playing Black Ops 2 at the moment. Uh, and I do have a record of, not a world record, but a personal record of 35 on this map using nothing but the MP5. That's a super fun little challenge you can do too. But yeah, you know, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a good day if you're watching early on. Have a good rest of your day. See you in the next one. And, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've done a zombies critique, so if I was a little all over the place, that's why. 
Uh, I want to get back into these and finish out the maps. I know I've got a couple left to go, uh, like the BO3 maps, the rest of the BO2 maps, and two Black Ops 1 maps. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and Black Ops 4 and Cold War, but Cold War is a touchy one. So, till then, uh, see ya.